should you have your own website? If you are a translator, should you create your own website? That way, if people Google, say, a French to German translator, your name will pop up. Is this a good choice? The short answer is simply no. But let's see why this is. If you wish to make a decent website, the cost will be in the thousands of dollars. Let's even say, very conservatively, that it is $1,000. Would this make sense? In other words, would you make more than $1,000 in return thanks to the website? This is very unlikely. First of all, your SEO, no matter how good, will never equal the SEO of LinkedIn or pros.com. In fact, if you search for a translator in most language combinations, the first choice will be Google Translate. You cannot out-Google Google. Fine, but you may think. Oh well, they will find me on LinkedIn, but from there they will see my website and be very impressed. The problem here is that, more often, your website will look a bit amateur or even completely outdated. I recently came across a translator's website that hadn't been updated since 2013, which makes it seem like they are no longer a translator. This is even worse than having no website at all. So what is my recommendation? I recommend signing up for LinkedIn, Pros.com, Translators Cafe, Upwork, and pretty much any other website. It is free to set up a profile on these, and you will use pretty much the same information for each one. You never know where a potential client will find you, and all of these are much more likely to pop up than your personal website. If you really want to spend $1,000 on marketing, they would be better spent on joining associations, printing business cards, or even paying for some ads on Google or LinkedIn that link back to your online profile. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. That guy behind me is totes crazy and has nothing to do with this video. Okay then, save doom.